Scientists were left stunned by these photos of an astonishing Martian crater. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Millions of miles out into the solar system, a probe travels in orbit around Mars. Launched in June 2003, it's been circling the red planet ever since, beaming back images of the alien terrain below. But the craft has captured one series of images in particular that captivated the world, and you might find the explanation behind them difficult to believe. Ever since it left Earth, the Mars Express mission has been revealing staggering truths about the mysterious planet. Then in December 2018, researchers on the ground announced another fascinating revelation. Over the course of several orbits, you see, the probe had put together a picture of a unique landmark known as the Korolev Crater. In the Vastisis Borealis, or Northern Waste, region of Mars, the landscape is low-lying, with sparse features and gently sloping plains. But rising up in the area is the Korolev Crater, a vast depression stretching for 50 miles. In fact, the hollow is large enough to contain the volume of North America's Lake Erie five times over. Located on the swath of land that encircles the northern pole of Mars, the Korolev Crater has been known to researchers for decades. But when the Mars Express beamed its images back to Earth, specialists were finally able to take a closer look. And in the photographs, something astonishing was revealed, a discovery that could bring us closer to understanding the Red Planet. Prior to June 2003, the race to explore Mars was being fought mostly between Russia and the United States. In fact, in 1964, the NASA spacecraft Mariner 4 became the first to perform a successful flyby across the planet. Then, seven years later, the Soviet Union probe Mars 2 took things to the next level. Yes, in 1971, Mars 2 cemented its place in history as the first piece of human technology to land on the Red Planet. But even though many more missions have been launched since then, only a handful have been successful. However, in 2003, the European Space Agency, or ESA, finally threw its hat into the ring. And this is perhaps more surprising as the ESA was founded way back in 1975. The institution was established to further the role of Europe in exploring the universe beyond planet Earth. And after nearly three decades, the organization was ready to launch its first ever mission to another planet. Apparently, the craft involved was built quicker than any other like it, earning it the name Mars Express. According to the ESA, the Mars Express missions were manifold. Along with capturing high-resolution images, the craft was also tasked with mapping and measuring conditions on the surface. Meanwhile, a separate lander, dubbed Beagle 2, would collect data from the planet itself. In order to deliver on its mission, the Mars Express was loaded up with a whole host of impressive equipment. The craft was fitted with a high-resolution stereo camera, HRSC, for instance, to map the topography of the planet in great detail. Elsewhere, infrared and ultraviolet technology was installed to help the unmanned mission observe the alien conditions. So with this array of equipment in place, in June 2003, the Mars Express took off from Kazakhstan, propelled into space by a Russian launcher. The Red Planet was located as close as possible to Earth at that time, a setup that happens roughly once every two years. And so it seemed the perfect opportunity for the probe to attempt the lengthy journey. Happily, the flight proved a success, and the Mars Express entered the Red Planet's orbit on Christmas Day of that year. Initially, the craft traveled in an elliptical pattern that completed one journey around Mars every seven and a half hours. Then in January 2004, it settled into a polar orbit that takes around nearly seven hours to complete. From the Mars Express position in orbit, the craft started to feed information back to observers back on planet Earth. And almost immediately, the revelations began. For instance, in 2004, the ESA announced that it had discovered water ice at the planet's southern pole. But the following month, the mission suffered an unfortunate blow. The ESA informed the public that Beagle 2 had failed to land on the surface of Mars. However, the orbiter continued its work, and the following month, another discovery was made, when experts recorded the presence of methane in the planet's atmosphere. In the years since then, the Mars Express has continued to open our eyes to a world that exists millions of miles from our own. And thanks to the high-tech camera equipment on board, ordinary citizens have been treated to a mind-boggling array of images, from vast craters and volcanoes to endless valleys of red rock. It's truly a landscape that has to be seen to be believed. However, perhaps the most fascinating aspect of the mission has been the opportunity that it's given us to learn more about Mars' atmosphere. 
And although scientists have long suspected that water ice could be found there, the data collected by the orbiter has allowed them to build upon this theory. For instance, in 2005, the ESA announced that it had discovered hydrated minerals on Mars. And according to experts, this signals that conditions on the planet were once far wetter than they are now, meaning that the atmosphere may once have been conducive to life. On another occasion, meanwhile, the orbiter detected clouds formed from carbon dioxide hovering 60 miles above the surface of Mars. Consequently, experts believe that this makes them the highest example of the phenomenon ever observed above a planet. And the Mars Express also revealed some new data about the volcanoes that first erupted on Mars billions of years ago. It's estimated that they may have been active as recently as a few million years ago. And evidence suggests that these structures could have been flanked by glaciers up until a relatively recent time. Elsewhere, almost 6,000 miles from the surface of Mars, another astronomical body caught the attention of the Mars Express. Over the course of many orbits, you see, researchers were able to study a moon called Phobos in greater detail than ever before. Interestingly, they've theorized that the interior is porous and that the satellite may be comprised of Martian debris. Over time, researchers have also built up a picture of just how much frozen water is present in the Red Planet. And thanks to the Mars Express, they may have a staggering answer. Apparently, there is enough ice in the planet's polar caps to submerge the entire planet to a depth of over 35 feet. Up until recently, though, perhaps the most startling discovery made by the Mars Express happened in the summer of 2018. In June of that year, researchers announced that they'd found liquid water beneath the planet's southern pole. If confirmed, these findings would represent a once-in-a-lifetime revelation, as well as the chance to learn more about potential life on the Red Planet. Interestingly, the Mars Express is not the only mission to have discovered water on Mars. For instance, in 2013, researchers at NASA announced that the rover Curiosity had stumbled across something exciting. Yes, in the depths of the Gale Crater in the planet's southern hemisphere, they apparently found evidence that the region was once a lake. And the same agency subsequently made another discovery a mere three years later. NASA announced that it had found a large mass of frozen water beneath the surface of Mars. In fact, the anomaly was equivalent in volume to Lake Superior, one of the largest lakes on Earth. In 2019, NASA then announced another fascinating piece of data about water on the Red Planet. Using radar technology on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, researchers had detected the presence of vast underground sheets of ice. Submerged in layers of sand, these frozen masses are thought to stretch for nearly a mile beneath the surface. And apparently, their presence suggests that the planet's ice caps once shifted, just like those on Earth. Researchers had believed that Mars' ancient ice had all but disappeared from the planet. But with this new discovery, they realized that much of it was actually preserved beneath the surface. Sheltered by a layer of sand, they theorized the frozen sheets had made it through the warming of the atmosphere intact. Amazingly, researchers also believe that a vast amount of water is contained within these sheets alone. After the Mars polar caps, it's probably the third largest reserve on the entire planet. And if these sheets were to melt, the entire surface of Mars would be submerged in approximately 5 feet of liquid. According to Stefano Nerozzi, a graduate research assistant from the Institute of Geophysics at the University of Texas, these discoveries are significant. He told the Daily Mail in May 2019, Understanding how much water was available globally versus what's trapped in the poles is important if you're going to have liquid water on Mars. You can have all the right conditions for life, but if most of the water is locked up at the poles, then it becomes difficult to have sufficient amounts of liquid water near the equator. Back at the ESA, researchers presumably must have felt the same excitement when studying the latest images from the Mars Express. The craft was able to capture a number of stunning photographs of the Korolev crater using its high-resolution camera. And what these pictures revealed is enchanted observers around the world. The camera on the Mars Express is capable of rendering images in staggering detail. In standard mode, it can capture features on the surface of the planet that are as little as 32 feet wide. Conversely, with its more specialized setting, it's able to interpret landmarks marks less than seven feet across. In order to create its stunning photograph of the Korolev crater, the ESA used snapshots from five separate orbits of Mars. Stitched together, they form something known as a mosaic image. And in December 2018, the organization released the incredible results to the public. According to many, the festive timing was perfect, since the landmark was filled with a glistening lake of ice. For instance, the German Aerospace Center called the incredible discovery a winter wonderland in red and white on its website that month. But how exactly did this vast lake of ice form on such an inhospitable planet? Well, according to experts, the key is in the tall lip of the crater which stands high above the plains of Vestitas Borealis. 
You see, the air on Mars is much thinner than it is on Earth, and when it travels over the lip of the crater, it can become caught inside, and the air then proceeds to cool, eventually forming a layer of insulation within the crater. Below it, the ice remains protected from warmer temperatures and does not melt. Today, the frozen lake inside the Korolev crater is a staggering 530 cubic miles in volume, and in the middle of the crater, where the ice is at its thickest, it measures over a mile in depth. Researchers also believe that the features exist all year round, too, even though Mars has warmer and colder seasons just like Earth. Planetary geologist Kirsten Seebeck from Houston's Rice University explained to NBC News MACH in 2018 exactly how the ice managed to maintain its freezing temperature. She said, This particular crater is very close to the polar cap, and the inside of the crater is at a lower elevation and more shadowed, so it creates a cold trap where the ice is stable. There used to be liquid in rivers and lakes on Mars, but it largely either froze as the atmosphere dissipated or was lost to space about 3 billion years ago. Seabach continued, Ice still exists on Mars near the poles, and the Martian atmosphere has a tiny amount of water vapor. Yet, although these recent images have propelled the Korolev crater into the spotlight, it was first discovered during NASA's Mariner program. Active for 11 years from 1962, the mission saw a series of probes sent out into the solar system. And over the course of a decade, they recorded fascinating information about Mercury, Venus, and Mars. In 1973, the newly discovered crater on Mars was named after Sergei Korolev, a rocket designer from the Soviet Union. At the time, he was virtually unknown around the world thanks to government secrecy. But the scientist was responsible for many trailblazing developments. For instance, he helped send the first living creature into space. One day, will people like Korolev be able to send humans to inspect his namesake crater in person? Well, while that moment seems far away, images like those captured by the Mars Express come a close second best. The data collected by the ESA's probe has proved incredibly valuable over the years, and its mission has been extended until at least 2020. Elsewhere, the ESA is preparing the next stage of an even more ambitious mission. First launched in 2016, the ExoMars program aims to establish whether or not life ever existed on Mars. And in 2021, their goal is to land a rover on the planet to hunt for ancient organisms that could be buried beneath the surface. According to the ESA, the rover will search the northern pole of Mars for signs of life, the same region where the Korolev crater is located. And if they're successful, this corner of the red planet will become even more famous. But for now, the magical snapshots of its frozen lake should be enough to take anyone's breath away.